Hi everyone, George Gill here from Gill Media. Thanks for joining me. Today's topic, we're going to talk a little bit about your back end of your website, often referred to as the content management system or CMS. And specifically, we're going to be speaking about WordPress. We're going to cover three main reasons why WordPress is our number one recommendation to clients when they're doing a new design or a redesign of their current website. So either one doesn't really matter. Specifically, we're going to speak on three components. We're going to talk about the design aspect of WordPress. We're going to talk about the features component and we're going to finish up with the SEO uh, benefits of running on, an, on a WordPress platform. So why do we think this is an important topic? Because often when I'm talking to clients, there's this myth or this belief from the past that WordPress is strictly a blog uh, structure or a blog blog application and it's not really meant to be used as a primary design. So I really want to put this to, to rest and hopefully give you some guidance when you're thinking about doing your next website design or making changes on your design. Okay, so let's talk first of all about the design. Well. When you start to think about, about the design aspect of your website, the first thing I, I really want to impress upon you is that a website design is not a destination. It's not, you know, we built it and it's done. Building it is really just the beginning. You see, you should be constantly updating your website. And when I say constantly, I really mean constantly. In other words, you should be playing and testing with headlines and content. You should be changing the graphics around and seeing which works better. Um, probably not a lot of changes in the structure because the last thing you want to be doing is having, especially if you have a lot of repeat traffic, you know, confusing the user every time they show up. They're, they're wondering, oh my gosh, where do I go now type of idea. But the other components you definitely want to be playing with. With WordPress as the CMS on the back end, the flexibility you have to make changes is absolutely mind-blowing. Now we're not going to go into specifics on it, but just, just know that you can change content very easily. You can change sidebar information very easy, heading, headers, uh, footers. You can, you can play with structure layouts, three column, two column, etc. You can do a lot, of, uh, a lot with the push of a button as, as, as WordPress, as your, your CMS back again. Now, the, the other thing to, to know about WordPress from a design perspective is that it's always in development. So WordPress is the largest, the largest CMS backend in use in the world. And we're going to talk a little bit about that at the end, of the, about the type of company you're in if you're utilizing WordPress as the back end of your website. And then the final thing is that the themes that are being made for WordPress on an ongoing basis are absolutely mind-blowing. Okay, so um, actually before I go into that, ju just going back to the fact that it's under constant development, what that really means to you is, let's say for example next week, the next big thing is I don't know, say Foursquare, which is a social media network. Well, if you just spent, you know, five, ten thousand dollars having your website designed, and you know, they come out with this great new social media network that would benefit your local business, to get that implemented into a hard-coded design might be very challenging, or at very least, you got to call up the webmaster, uh, you got to pay, you know, a, an exorbitant rate for their design talent to be able to go in and make those changes, add those social buttons to your site. Um, whereas with WordPress, you know, you have that development always going on. There's always people working on the back end. So usually what that means, and we'll talk a little bit about this, is it's just adding a capability with what they refer to as a plugin into my site and boom, I now have Foursquare as a social media component on my website and it costs me often zero. Which is, which is absolutely incredible. Okay, now let's jump back to the themes. The themes that are under development. You can have a 
incredible looking website uh, for dirt cheap, if not free. I don't recommend free themes, and we'll get into that in the SEO, but for very, very inexpensive uh, rates, I'm talking less than $100, you can have a custom design, uh, well, virtually custom, you can have it customized uh, for, for very little add-on cost, if you want to say customize the header or, or what have you, which we recommend. But you can have an amazing design that would have cost you thousands of dollars had you had it developed from a designing company uh, for, for literally peanuts. So that's the design aspect, being able to, to incorporate what they refer to as themes onto that, that CMS uh, back end it is easy. It's really easy. So what that also means, of course, is changing themes down the road is also very, very easy. So if you want to take on a new look at uh, maybe Valentine's Day is a big time of year for your business or, or the holiday season around Christmas or, or, or maybe Thanksgiving, whatever the case may be, you can literally make theme changes very, very quickly on the fly. So, so that's pretty incredible. Okay, so now let's talk a little bit about the features uh, component and, and what it, how it benefits you when you're using um, WordPress is a back end. And the first one I already hinted to in the design, and that's the fact that there is this huge community always developing and improving WordPress a as it goes. So there's this strong back end, and there's this community that are constantly building what they refer to as plugins, um, which are capabilities in the back end that you can add to your website literally by clicking install and then using uh, widgets to display. Try not to, if you don't understand the, the terminology of plugins and widgets, try not to let that bother you. It is so easy once you, once you have enough uh, guidance and, and a little bit of training on how to use it. it. It's literally very, very easy. So you have this, this development community that is sharing this information on an ongoing basis. So you have an absolute incredible back end. Your, your website doesn't have to go out of date just because things change. And things in technology change, as we know, uh, all the time. Um, you have control of that content. Again, without calling a developer, I can install a plugin and have a feature down the sidebar that I didn't have before. Maybe I'm on somebody else's site and I really like the fact that on, on the site they, that you can see their tweets for their company, their, their company tweets, so that you have that engagement going on with the user when they come and explore your site. Well, to have that coded in might, might be an hour or more of of a coder's time to add that as a plugin down the side of your site is hmm, I don't know maybe a minute or two if you want to do a little bit of research on on, a, on multiple plugins because there's not just one available there might be hundreds so you can explore and then you can explore the reviews of what people that are using those plugins have to say about it and then it's a matter of install and then you drop that widget into the area of the site that you want to use it in and as I said Poof, your site is now updated with that, with that new technology. Okay, um, within the back end, not only can you change posts, which are tied really to the blog, if, blogosphere and, and, and people understanding what a, a blog is, which is WordPress's history, but you can also do pages. You can do custom menu navigation, you know, fancy menu drop downs that, you know, used to cost a, a lot of development time is now a matter of just dropping and dragging what menu items I want, what sub menu items I want. Very, 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 very easy. Okay, so uh, finally, let's talk a little bit about SEO. And this is probably, uh, from our perspective, one of the greatest benefits for clients. Because let's face it, why do you build a website, right? Um, hopefully it's not for vanity. It's not just because you want to have a nice looking website to say, hey, I have a website. You hopefully want that website to perform for you. You hopefully want that website to drive new business to your company or leads or, or sales or improve your support that you're offering to your clients clients. Whatever the case may be, SEO is a critical factor in being successful online. It's absolutely critical. If you can't be found, the build it and they will come, which we've talked about a lot, uh, syndrome doesn't work, 
right? So you need to take action to be found. And on-page action, so on-page structure it is really, really important. Now there, there's two sides that I, I want to I talk about here. It's really easy to learn HTML, which is the programming language uh, or a programming language that a lot of websites are built on. It is not easy to learn how to program in HTML and be search engine friendly. Okay, so what that means is a lot of programmers out there became self-taught programmers and or maybe even they had an education but SEO wasn't a at the forefront of concern and it should have been but nonetheless it, it wasn't. So what you have is you have a messy back-end design often that is is filled with with for lack of better words garbage that could be so cleaner and letting the search engine spiders, when the search engines come to your site uh, and they spider it to find out what your site's about, really get to the good content um, becomes a challenge in, in a poorly designed back end. With WordPress, <coughs> excuse me, with WordPress, it's designed with SEO in mind. So if you're using a what we refer to as a premium theme to manage that back end, you're going to have very, very clean code, which from an SEO perspective, as I said, is critical so that when those search engines come, uh, they're going to find the critical information, which is your content, uh, very, very easily. And we, we could do a whole training just on um, clean content in the back end. It's, it's that important. The second side of SEO is there are a lot of plugins, remember I mentioned plugins being those those uh, for uh, applications that you can install into the back end of WordPress that give you increased control, functionality, capability, right? But some of that the user never sees it's back end stuff and for example there's SEO plugins that make everything that you write every piece of content whether it be a blog post whether it be a, a page on your site um, that you can make that information more SEO friendly by automatically having a component that says hey what are the keywords for this page what are what are the what is this page about what should it be titled which absolutely enhances uh, the SEO reward that you're gonna get from the search engine okay so just just to, to summarize basically what we've talked about here is WordPress from a design perspective, having a really strong design community that allows you to have a very high quality design, very inexpensively. We've talked about the, the features component where we have plugins and widgets to actually customize uh, that, that back end and front end experience uh, very, very inexpensively, if not free, in most cases free, and allow you to keep up to date as new things come on to the web because of that development community and then finally we wrapped up with the SEO component and having a search engine friendly website okay uh, that that really WordPress uh, really enforces with their entire design okay finally I want to wrap up with um, the fact that you're in good company all right, and a lot of companies don't realize this. Again, there's that stigma of WordPress is just for blogs. You know, here are some sites that ha utilize WordPress in some component, if not their entire site, some component of their site. Companies like eBay, uh, Ford, The Wall Street Journal, um, Sony, People Magazine, Samsung, uh, PlayStation, The New York Times Blog, CNN. And the list goes on and on and on and on and on. So if you have a small business out there and you're wondering if WordPress is good enough for your business, just think of some of those companies that today are taking advantage of this literally free CMS backend. All right. I hope you found that helpful. I, I hope it gave you some insight as to why you should be looking at WordPress for your redesign or for your new design on a go forward basis. My name is George Gill from Gill Media. Thanks for joining me and I look forward to speaking with you again real soon.